Hello, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppleNaps.com, and we've been uh, going over iOS 5 Beta 2, and the biggest new addition is that wireless backup and syncing is now activated. As you can see, we're going here through the iCloud and the settings. Press backup now. We're outside. As you can see, no computer, no cable, and we're backing up our entire iPhone via the cloud. Now, we've just manually pressed backup now, but this is automatically done daily without any work on your end. Also, as you can see, we can exit the settings and use our iPhone. Right now we're in Safari loading up a page and your device keeps backing up in the background. You go back into settings and more of it's been done. You can actually use your device while backing up, which is completely different than iTunes Sync currently. Back inside in iTunes, to sync over Wi-Fi, you check sync over Wi-Fi in iTunes and then we'll try to add air video. We'll do the sync on iTunes on the computer, and as you can see, it starts syncing right on the iPhone. And then, moments later, you got Air Video right there, new app on your iPhone ready to use. Now we'll do the same thing for music. We sync the music on the computer, check what songs we want. We'll add the new Help Beatles album. Press sync now, and then it will start syncing right to our iPhone. As you can see, the little indicator in the top left, that shows you that it's syncing and also this is another aspect where it's wireless and you can do other things while it's syncing. You don't have to be locked to not using your device. For example, here's the new iOS 5 weather which is local weather plus hourly forecast. And more, we have more progress of our songs adding on to our iPhone. We have to reiterate again this is wireless. Here we got our white sync cable and no use for it at all. Wireless syncing. Now we'll go into our music app and see the new album is on our device, ready to play, and it was completely added wireless with no little white sync cable. You don't realize how much I need you. Love you all the time and never leave you. Ah, uh, that was nice. Now also software updates are activated though we don't have any currently available and also notifications have been slightly changed. Now you can choose to have the weather widget or the stocks widget on or off. In beta 1 the stocks and weather were on and there was no way to turn them off. Now you can turn either on or off. Also the view on your lock screen is different so when a new alert comes in it's big but then after your screen goes to lock and then you open it back up again they're back listed small as we've seen for iOS 5. Also, we can dive more into the storage and see what is storing on our iCloud. Right now it's our different backups for iOS 5 itself and this particular iPhone. And one final thing which was in beta 1 but we didn't show is that you can choose the new banners or the old alerts and you can still use an app in the background while a little alert is up. We hope you enjoyed our iOS 5 beta 2 walkthrough. Thanks.